Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will see how to create list inside Excel. In this episode, you will learn how to create a static one or a dependent or a dynamic list. Make sure you have a copy of this file downloaded using the link in the video description to follow along with me. Let's begin. I place my cursor here in cell A3 to create a list. Now I go to data tab and click on data validation control inside data tools. Then I select list and then click on this source handle, span over the names of the countries and I click on the data handle again and click OK. It will bring me the list of countries that are listed on this range. But what if I add a new country? Will it grow? No, it will not. What do I do to make it grow on its own dynamically or shrink on its own when the range when the value has been removed from that range. I will simply need to name this range. So before I name that range, I want that range to grow on its own as well. For example, if I keep adding new names, those new, new names should be added to my name range here. How do I do that? To do that, I will simply make this part a table. I select that one. I go into home tab and format this one as table. Select my table has headers and click OK. Get rid of this filter thing. Now if I just add a new country name here, look at what happens this grid line that is spanning over USA, Denmark, France and India. If I just add UK, it will span over UK. And if I add more countries, it will span accordingly. But if I add a new country here, for example, here, it won't span because I just left one cell. So I have to add it here, right here, below that one. So it will keep spanning. Now I will select this one and I will give it a name. To give it a name, I will go into formulas tab, click on define name. And here it will say country by default because I was there on that cell. Now I will get rid of everything from this refers to box and click on that source handle. And here I will click the left click on my mouse and drag it over. Look how it is referring to the cells at this moment as I haven't selected all the cells in that table range. If I select all of them, it will say table country. So this is a very important step. So don't skip that. Make sure that you see table reference with the name for that range. Then click on the source handle and click on OK. Now if I place my cursor here and go to data tab, and click on data validation and select list. And then I enter country as my reference and click OK. It will show me all the countries in that range. If I just add a new country, for example, I just want to say China. See, that will appear in the list. What if I get rid of Lanka here? I right click on it. I will not simply click on delete on my keyboard. I will right click on that cell. I will go to delete and click delete table rows. That is how it will get rid of that value from this list. So this was a dynamic list. What do we do to make a dependent list? For example, if I select USA from this list, I should be able to see the list of places of USA in the second list. And if I select, uh, say, France, I should be able to see the list of places of France in the second list. I want a dynamic dependent list. How do I do that? It's again the same step. All I have to do is I select this range, I go to home tab and click on format as table and select the table from there. My table has header, make sure you select that one and click on OK. Now I have a table. I'll get rid of this data filter by clicking on that filter thingy. Now all I have to do is select USA, just place my cursor on that cell, go to formulas tab, click on define name and here I will get rid of this function and click on this refers to handle and span over everything in that table except the header of the table. And you can see it says table four USA. Make sure that it says that. Otherwise, if it says something of, of this type, like for example, the references of cells, then it's not going to work dynamically. So make sure you have everything selected. Now click on that source handle and click on OK. Now I go to data tab. Here is a little switch. We are now going to use indirect function. Indirect function takes a value from other list or other cell and look for that value as a name range. It will search for something inside Excel that has a range with the name of that value. So for example, if I just click on data validation and click list and here I will say equals to indirect of what B3 
yes close the bracket and click ok just click on yes on the prompt that appears on that and now see if i just go here i have nothing because i haven't named anything as france but if i say usa you see i have all the places of usa listed here so let me do one more time for india i just go here select india go to home tab format this one as table and I, my table has headers i click ok and i get rid of that filter thing and now i will select india the table header only then i go to formulas tab click on define name then i get rid of this thing click on the source handle and i select everything from india table except the header of the table making sure that my table reference is shown in the new name reference to field then click on that little source handle then click ok now if i come back here and i select india you can notice i will see places of india in my dependent list if i select usa it will show me the places of usa and if i just add a place for example in in usa i have houston let me say i add uh, uh, dc so now let's see whether we have dc in the list yes we do now what if i add say texas now let's see whether we have texas there yes we have it now what if i want to get rid of houston I just go here, delete, delete table rows. And if I just come back here, I am done with removing Houston. So this is how we create dynamic list and dependent list. I would request you to practice as much as you can to retain this knowledge because the more you practice, the more you will retain. If you are not practicing and just watching this video, I'm afraid that you might lose this learning. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to get regular updates from my channel click on this little button which says subscribe and click on the bell icon to enable notifications of new updates from my channel thank you so much have a lovely day until next time